I think what's so surprising about this story is that you see a brother and a sister go to an audition and you expect either both of them to get it or the brother to get it. And what happens is I think it's a complete surprise what that the girl gets it and the boy doesn't. And what you have to follow and, and what you get to experience in the movie is what happens when a, a shared dream becomes a solo dream and what happens to Raya, to Paige, when she has to deal with getting the dream without her brother and what happens to the brother uh, uh, the, the sort of the man of the family, the boy of the family, the heir apparent, who doesn't get, who doesn't get the ticket, this, the golden ticket that he thought he was going to get. So how does he deal with finding his own path in life when you don't get the dream that you thought you had? So you really have these two rocky stories that are happening at the same time in a world that we've never experienced. Because of Dwayne Johnson, we've got and and Vince McMahon, we've had this access to the WWE, where you get to go behind the scenes of something that everybody knows about, everybody can see on television, um, you know, a number of times a week, but nobody's ever really gone inside um, the belly of the beast, as it were. We just had shot um, in the United States, where we had the great fortune of shooting at um, a. A WWE Raw event at Staples and a WWE SmackDown event out in Ontario. And what was so fun is we were able to put our actors and actresses in front of 20,000 people, um, you know, gifted to us by the WWE. And really, it's exciting. And the size and scale of it is something, you know, you 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 couldn't buy with all the money in the world. Um, to have that experience of real wrestling fans sort of judging our, our actresses. Um, in the ring on a Monday night, you know, right after the television event ended, it's quite great. We have an extraordinary cast, and I think one of the reasons we were able to get that extraordinary cast is really because of Stephen Merchant. Um, really, is such a gifted artist, um, gifted comedian, gifted writer, gifted performer, gifted director. And what he was able to give us was a script that adapted the documentary, but also made it wholly his own and his real unique sensibility. And, you know, we, we, uh, we had the real good fortune of um, being able to um, pick from the cream of the crop because everybody loves Stephen um, and loves his work. Nick Frost to play the dad, Lena Headey to play the mom, Florence Pugh, a rising star, um, to play um, Paige, and Jack Loudon to play Zach. I mean, we were really, really gifted with those four to play the family members. And then to get Vince Vaughn to play a WWE trainer, sort of a composite character of a number of WWE trainers that, and NXT trainers that, that were very influential in Paige's life. Um, you get that sort of comic sensibility as well as that dramatic intensity from Vince that you're able to sort of work off against the personality of the family. Well, I think the amazing thing about Florence, first of all, she's a blonde, and so she looked nothing like um, the Paige role, and then when she had her hair dyed and then transformed her personality after doing all the research and the, and the training, she was completely her own version of Paige, and she actually does not resemble at all the girl that I met when she first auditioned for us. Florence brought the same level of intensity to her preparation, both in terms of performance, but also of performance in the ring. She went to Orlando to the Performance Center, which we're aping here in London, um, to learn how to wrestle, and she performed so many of her own stunts um, in the ring. And um, honestly, she, um, she, made the, um, she made a number of doubles obsolete because she was so capable of doing it. And there was such a sense of pride when I speak with her about how, hey, look how much I did, um, you know, wrestling performance skill set that she did not have previous to the movie that she now possesses. And again, I think that's, that's a young actress sort of owning her own place in the world, um, you know, sort of like declaring here I am and using this role as a real opportunity. Well, I think this is really a family story more than a wrestling story per se. But, you know, for the wrestling fan, I think what's great is that we're just not telling a wrestling story. We're telling a story about a family and a group of people that love what they do. And I think that relates for, that's a relationship that anybody has to anything they do that they can understand and sort of want to know more. Wrestling is something that um, has been in, that is in everybody's lives for a period of time, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter, and to see what goes on behind the scenes and why the people who love it truly love it and what the performers in the ring do to get ready and how dedicated they are to their craft and the love of what they do, I think that will be eye-opening to the wrestling fan. For the non-wrestling fan, it really is just a story about a family trying to come together and come to terms with their own hopes, dreams, and realities, and I think that's something we can all relate to. They just happen to be wrestlers.